It's no secret that Northern Nevada's economy is in a boom, resulting in the largest turnout yet for the fourth annual Nevada Economic Development Conference. That's right. Uh, now, the theme for the three-day event is connecting Nevada for a stronger economy. Elizabeth Olvetta was at the conference at the Atlantis today and shows us how it's adapting to a changing business landscape. Continuing the boom and then how do we manage the boom? Hundreds gathered to explore ideas, programs and policies defining the new Nevada economy. Agribusiness to transportation to marijuana in the workplace. It's a stark contrast to the recession era Silver State. Then there weren't enough jobs, but now. The economy in Nevada is booming at such great speeds. We're having a hard time keeping up with it. That's a key issue in the manufacturing sector, which has now transitioned to a more tech savvy industry. Jobs have changed. The skill sets have changed and we don't have enough people that have an interest in going in manufacturing. Workshops highlighted how to grow that workforce since the demand is now there. We actually gained about 6,600 manufacturing jobs, which was a gain of 14% in our manufacturing workforce last year. And we're on track to do almost that this year. But it's not just industry insiders. Elected officials talked infrastructure and transportation to keep the state connected. Looking at the I-11 study and then the fact that they're doing a study on um, 93, uh, which is the other the eastern side of the state, which a lot of people forget. Um, and I think that's really important. Others, like Don, came all the way from Las Vegas. My job is to connect business and education. I'm looking for places to put students for our work-based learning program. She says she'll take back what she learned to keep Southern Nevada communities in the loop, including education about new policies in the business workplace like marijuana. It's very eye-opening because those uh, laws and statutes have come into practice and everybody's not aware of what's happening. And officials say the networking opportunities made here are just as valuable as the workshops themselves. It's affecting a lot more than businesses this conference. Covering the story, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News. Tomorrow is the last day of the conference, but there's still time to sign up. If you'd like more information, visit our KTVN News app.